Good morning, welcome back to another video, and today is another day of the PDSA fundraiser. Now just stick around and enjoy the video. Okay, so today we're going to be going over the gold for the day, along with going over what we actually plan on doing as a weekly gold making rotation. Uh, so alongside that, let's get into the gold for the day, which is a healthy da -da -da -da, 167,179 gold. Things of note that actually sold was Enchant Weapon, Celestial Guidance, and that is 21 of those for 6,509 gold. Spectral Flask of Stamina, 133 for, 50, for 36,651 gold. The other things of note is Potion of Spectral Intellect, 91 of those for 21,270 gold. Potion of Spiritual Clarity, 171 of those for 19,181 gold. The Potion of Deathly Fixation, 118 of those for 26,912 gold. Potion of Spectral Strength, 170 of those for 20,200 gold. Other things of note is Potion of Divine Awakening, 52 of those for 6,425 gold. As well as Potion of Spectral Strength, 30 of those for 4,000 gold. Potion of Phantom Fire, 72 for 13,000 gold. And then a load of other ones like Mark of a Sentinel and Spiritual Clarity once again, Flask of Stamina and then Divine Awakening once again, bringing our total up to 167,179 gold, which is a nice chunk for the day, but for obvious reasons we didn't sell through everything because I did not have time to, um, because I did not have time to uh, do a relist before I had to go to work last night. So at the moment we are sitting pretty at 1,940,886 gold. Obviously we'll, we'll need to do a reinvestment into our potion craftings. So let's just do that now, which will cost us 248,791 gold and we can make around about 37,000 gold profit. So that's Pretty damn good, I'm okay with that. that, that will do okay right there. Our auction house, however, is currently sat at 1,448,295 gold. So that's not too bad going far. Obviously we need to sell those terrified pack mules, but they're just not selling. But um, hopefully we can sell those on um, eventually. So that's nothing to really worry about. It's the same sell rate as the Minion of Grumpus and we managed to sell one of those, so it's just a case of keeping it on the auction house. We didn't sell the sealed term of Lost Legion, mind you, so that is something we need to monitor. Um, but other than that, we've got three more Vile of the Sands on the auction house, so I'm not really too concerned with all of that right there. Now, that being the case, what was I actually thinking? Well, currently thinking about this, I was actually thinking about We've got our daily rotation, it works, we can tell that it works, we've got nice little upticks each and every day and it works out quite well. Obviously we're having a bit of a slump today, but then we should really pick up again when we go into the following week. So that's not too bad, I'm not going to worry too much. So that being said, we're going to jump over and we're going to actually do some weekly rotations. That means weekly lockouts, all that stuff, maximizing our goal with that. So we've got our daily stuff with like Sealed Term of Lost Legion, we're doing our Tanan Rare Farms, we're doing all that stuff, and we're making a nice little stockpile with all of that stuff right there. The next things of note that I would actually want to actually farm up and high ticket items, obviously I'm actually considering doing the Lanty Core. Well, not considering I'm actually going to do the Lanty Core, so that is what our plan is for today. We're going to move over our guys to the Lanty Core farm, which is where literally where the lower Black Rock Spire was, but it's the upper Black Rock Spire, so it's just up the stairs. Um, aside from all of that, we're going to try and do that, but also I want to actually do some raid farming, and that is because raid farming can usually net us some re really actually quite good stuff. And the things of note is like mainly battle pets. So if we go into battle pets right now, go to raid pets, obviously just want to reiterate this, this is not live yet um, for worth it, but for obvious reasons, it will be out at some point um, once the merge has actually done and a load of the bugs have been fixed. Aside from that, what we would actually want to do is we want to see which one gives our best buck for our time invested. So definitely, her Battle of Zara Law, we can't actually do this, so it's a nice gold value 
for all of those pets, but no, uh, it won't be that well. But the Throne of Thunder is a very good one, and that is because you do have some high ticket items, which is the Son of Animus and the Living Fluid. So those ones are quite good. There's only two of those, so we can then jump down, have a look at Siege of Orgrimmar, and that is Gooey Sharling, Droplet of Yasharaj. Those ones sell for quite a hefty amount of gold. Well, the Droplet of Yasharaj does. And we've got that, the Heart of Fear. Now, for obvious reasons, gold-wise, when you're actually doing these types of farms, the gold for these will actually vary, depending on what farm you actually do, and the battle pets do have a slight chance of dropping. So you've got to take that into consideration whether or not you're actually going to be able to do this. What I've been thinking, however, is by utilising the potion of treasure finding. Now, I know that I can actually do the Blackwing Descent, I, uh, the Firelands, and I know we can do the Bastion of Twilight within an hour. So that's pretty damn good. It's easy to jump around the map, especially with all of our different hearthstones that we've got. And that is something I have been thinking about because an hour for a week is pretty easy to, pretty achievable. But then you've got to remember what would that actually be in total? So if we look at Bastion Twilight, 7,000, hold that on. And then all we've got to do is then we've got to find the other ones, which is overall, this will actually net me in about 10,000 gold. I'm probably better off doing a weekly rotation instead of actual battle pet farming and by finding out something else than that. So what we could actually do is we could utilize by going over to like Ice Crown Citadel, we could do Ice Crown Citadel. We still need to do Eranos' uh, Frost uh, Shadow Moon quest line. So in order to finish that off, we could actually run that on him and then by the end of it, he will still have his Frost Moon, well, Shadow Moon. Um, at the end of it with all of those nice little goodies that would increase our gold. Uh, if you don't know, last year I did a guide on each and every step of the process and I just never finished getting the last few shards for it. So yeah, we really do need to finish that off, uh, so to speak, because then that's an easy 1 million gold right there. So it's just a case of adding that into the rotation. Now, a few other things that we can do is we can do gathering professions. Gathering professions are a good way of brute forcing gold uh, because you, you literally farm it up and you sell it and then you get gold for that. What we could do, however, is if anything is profitable on our professions, we can farm up the items and sell them on for even more profit. That is something that we could do right there and that would benefit us quite well. I was thinking more along the lines of like Dreamleaf so that is something that I am pondering with right there. Now, aside from that, it's just making sure that we're not wasting our time with certain things. So RNG-based farms with battle pets are very RNG, but they do have a good gold return. So that's something just to take into account. So I think probably the best course of action for adding on to our gold making rotation is going to be like gathering and that. So I think that's probably where we're going to be going moving forward. As well as our professions, our seal term of Lost Legion and all that stuff, we can actually do a load of different types of old world farms because a lot of farms have actually jumped back up in value. So if we go into like mining and stuff, exclude the fell iron ore because that's being silly. Um, the Saranite ore one is doing quite well. Cobalt ore is doing really well for mining. Herbalism, Fjallanskagel for some reason is really, really high for the gold per hour. And yeah, it's higher, it's less, it's like half the price of the market value. So obviously a reset's been done there. And Starlight Rose has, is, um, Starlight Rose is doing pretty well at the moment. So yeah, just need to have a look at that one right there. People have been resetting all the markets. Now all the gold values are being very, very high. So it's just something to take into account. Skinning, we can do skinning. Um, to, to be quite honest, I really do think that our, probably our best course of action is probably doing the current content stuff because it still nets us in a good amount of gold. And 
yeah, like 20,000 gold marrow root, we can use that as a multi farm with our mining and herbalism. We could increase that gold per hour instead of like 21,000 gold per hour, we could increase it to at least like 26. And that's just by utilizing both professions, mining and herbalism. So that's probably what we're gonna be doing there when we've actually got some time is do some actual material farming. And so from that, raid farming is definitely something you can do if your servers are valued for that. So just have a look at the battle pets and see how much they actually sell for because that's mainly what you're going for. And then any other high ticket items that you get, then obviously you can like, sell those on. But aside from all of that guys, that's pretty much everything for today. I'm keeping this short and sweet because I don't have very long in the day to actually do anything of much. But other than that, have a great rest of the day and the PDSA fundraiser link is in the description down below if you wish to donate. Other than that guys, take it easy and I shall see you tomorrow. If you want to support the channel and help make the channel even better, then why not check out the Patreon? Members get additional info, gold making resources and Patreon specific content. The link is located in the description down below. Thank you and have an awesome day.